All right, everybody. Welcome back to some more Chromiel the Fallen Angel in Baldur's Gate 3. So, <clears throat> last time, we actually leveled up on everybody, so we do need to allocate those levels. But, we found out that there may or may not be some traitor within the Githyanki crash that was being led by Kithrak Terzin, I believe was her name. And then there was this dude that uh, went through this, well, portal, question mark? Gate? Chasm? I don't even know. But yeah, we was about to enter. Uh, we should be leveling up right now. So before I tell you guys to move on, um, I will let you know that I am actually preparing a cyberpunk series along with the Arc Survival Ascended series, which I have just, uh, I have just started, yes. Hope you guys enjoy all of those. Uh, I know the Cyberpunk one is gonna be crazy. <laughs> I've already played all the way until, uh... You know what, I, let me just say I'll play it, like, halfway through Act 2, okay? And it's crazy. And that, that was not even the full collection. Alright, uh, that's it. If you guys want to see the level up, stick around. If not, well, you're gonna be able to skip all the way to the gameplay. Starting off with Kremiel, with the leveling up right now. Alright. Let's see what we get. What is this? Aura of Desecration. Hmm. This is a permanent necrotic damage aura. Uh, three meters. Hmm. Wait, it's a self-heal? Um... Assuming I have 3 plus people, I would be healing for at least 1 HP. Nah, not worth. Not worth. Anything else that is Gucci in here that I may or may not want? Yeah, you know what? I actually believe there is nothing in here. So let me go make sure the freeze arrays got something for me. I do like Arctic Blast. It's a 3 turn cold damage with piercing. 20 meters. It's a bonus action. Huh. Alright, but what if bend the knee? Hmm. It has to be frightened though. I am forcing them to be my minions. Interesting. And then we got a slap. Slap thy fool. No. Death beam though. It is a 1d12, but it's a death beam. Which, if you guys do not know, death beam is the iconic finger beam of Frieza. Yes. Then we got Vitality, which means effortlessly detonate scum with 10 or less HP. 25 meters. So there's like almost no way they get away. Huh. I could get this one. If they have... 10 or less HP, they insta-die. <laughs> I could be taking this one. I don't know if my microphone is too far away or not, so let me actually put it a little bit closer to my mouth. Because this may be a little bit too far. I'm just saying, hold up. There we go. Alright, adjustments have been made. Uh, we did kinda... move some stuff around the table, so it is what it is. Uh, regenerate? Might just be what I'm getting. 25 HP healing for a character that cannot be healed unless she is self-healing because she's undead. That said, Skull Crusher though. 5 to 17. Oh, but it's an action. If it if that was a bonus action. Tail kick. We do be having tail. Hmm. That said, I think regeneration is a must. Death Beam, Tail Kick... I don't want to take the Skull Crusher, because I'm usually going to be using the... Yeah. The Hammer. 20 Con Check. Hmm. Yeah, nah. I think I need Death Beam. I actually think I kind of need Death Beam. We got a feet though. Hmm. 
Increase ability by two. You know what? I am so over this uh, being unable to respec thing. You have no idea. I really just want to respec at this point. How do I fix it, bro? I know there is a way. I just don't know said the way. I know ideally. I think I'm thinking this, by the way. I know ideally. Uh, skeleton dude. I forgot his name because I don't use him often. I know ideally. Do I just do this? I think I just do this, because I'm very low charisma, and I am basically paladin class. I think I just do this. But I don't know what the freeze arrays requires. That said, I do have 18 strength. I don't think I need 19, or 20, rather. I think I am good right now. On, on strength. I don't think I need more constitution. I do believe charisma is something that I'm very much in need of though. So I will take that. Yeah. I don't think I need anything else right now. That said, I may respec. Alright. Lazel. A level 7 fighter. War magic. We don't care about that. Level 2 spell slot unlocked, apparently. Alright, let's see now. Yeah, you know, I really don't care about these. I actually do not care about these. Mostly because Gale's the... The dedicated magician, if you know what I mean. He's just blasting people left and right. So let's see what the Dragon Ball Warrior got. Ooh. A Spirit Ball. Oh my god, Goku? Ah, I feel like a Goku. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the Need for Speed song right there. 3 CD. Blind all enemies in the 30 meter. Oh my god, solar flare kinda nutty though. Sends you bean? Wait. Can I use these on others? Because sends you beans are just beans that you can actually feed to people. So can I give this to, well, Kremiel for example? Weird. Uh, Kamehameha? Okay, why is it zero though? Hello? Also, what the f does 3 CD mean? Is that cooldown? You're telling me I can only use this every three turns? Well, every fourth turn, rather? What? Oh my god, they got Kaioken. Kaioken! Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to... Yeah. No, we don't go the Krillin route. I think... <laughs> Why does... Wait, hold up. Is she a Saiyan? I... I can't tell. What are you? I need to figure out if... She a Saiyan or not. She may be a Saiyan, but... I don't know. Aberration Hunter... I can't see anything that would tell me that she's a Saiyan. Hold up. Like, I, I really need to update the game, by the way, at some point, because I know patch 7 is... I have seen something, I don't know if patch 7 is out already, but I know they are adding um, evil endings. Yes. Oh, I can't click it to check. That is very annoying, actually. Why can't I click that? Alright, uh... Dragon Ball Warrior, sure. That is very unfortunate, I cannot check what class this is. It's fine, I'm gonna have to... This feels broken though, I really wanna take Kamehameha. But this is broken. I think I'm just going Sanzu Bean. And what is this, Wolfang Fist? Now this has to be human. Or Z Fighter rather. I know I kinda forgot. Can I check by checking here? Nope, uh, not exactly. Alright. This mod still needs a little bit of work. Destructo disc. Do I make Krillin right now? Do I make Krillin? Nah. Let's see. Um, Critical threshold hold lowered. Minus 2 plus 1 reverberation. The fuck is reverberation? Zero thunder damage. 
on every attack. Ignore Thunder Resistance. Costs 1d4 HP after one turn. I'm sorry, for how many turns though? It's a concentration, doesn't say. So... I don't think I like this actually. Even though I have sense you've been to counter the after effect of the Kaioken. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is 0 to 22 though. Why is it 0? What the hell? I've never seen a 0 a zero action. 0 to something. It's both force and thunder. I don't know what the reverberation means. This is weird. I think... I'm gonna be honest. I think I just ditch Kamehameha and go Destructo Disc. I actually think Destructo Disc is way better. Even though Kamehameha has two... Um... Bro, they did the Kamehameha wave dirty. It's It's got lower damage than Destructo Disc. It's got only two more range. But this is way better. So why would you choose the Kamehameha? It, it does daze, though. I don't know what the reverberation does. Because it doesn't say. You can't check. Which is kind of annoying, but I think I just go Destructo Disc based on what I'm seeing. And it's got one CD, which I'm assuming is the cooldown. So I can use this way more often. That said, I am only now realizing Hmm. Spirit Ball. This is Yamcha's, no? I think this is Yamcha's. Never misses, interesting. But Yamcha's ball is multiple hits, though. So this has to be Goku's weak-ass Spirit Ball. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay, I think this is it. I, I know Kamehameha and Kaioken are very cool in the Dragon Ball series, but I do not like them here. Whatsoever, I will just Straight up use Destructo Disc instead. I actually recall Goku using Destructo Disc instead of Kamehameha. Um, against Frieza, actually, I think. I think I just go Ability Improvement here. And I get the extra strength. And let's see now. Do I go one more Wisdom so I don't stick with 9? Ah, dilemma, dilemma. I maybe should be going int because Eldritch Knight. One more int. Where the hell of it? Or one wisdom. So I don't have minus one to skill checks. You know what? Let's do this. For now. For now, anyway. I may respect at some point. At some point. I don't know when that point's gonna be, but let's see. Vanish, no. Death word, no. Though, it's kind of cool. <clears throat> Freedom of movement. Hmm. Interesting. Guardian of Fate, nah. Uh, Valkyrana's negative energy is something that I have considered before, but it, I will uh, let it slide because it is a concentration move, even though I'm pretty sure Shadowheart has something that allows us to not drop concentration that easily. Let me go into Dragon Ball. I think she's a Z-Warrior too. Yeah, it has to be. So, um, I think... I think I am going Solar Flare and Senzu Beans on uh, the good old Shadow Heart. The Shark. <laughs> okay. Do I plus, plus 2 strength? So I got 16. I think that may just be the play. Either that or I go 18 Wisdom. I don't think Shadow Heart hits that often in melee, though. I think she's mostly just AOE 
beat everybody with spirits. If you know what I mean. Um, that said, I don't recall having decent melee weapons. And she may just be required to hit more often. Or I could go... Uh, no, actually. I think my armor is medium, no? I also don't think I can go higher than plus 2 from dex. If I recall. It's been a while since I've actually checked though, but... I will go with ability improvement for now. I have medium armor mastery, okay. Yeah, my modifier becomes 3, I just realized. Ah, dilemma, dilemma. If I go plus 3... I don't even... Do I have plus 3 though? You know what? I'll go with the strength for now. Because I think Shadowheart's kind of decent as it is. She just needs to kind of hit more often, you know? Because she kind of misses every melee. Oh my god, these sound effects are so loud! My head is popping because I kind of forgot to drink my coffee yesterday. And my head is... Oh my god, you have no idea. Alright, we got a feat. But I don't think we stick to Rogue. Wisdom modifier? Necrotic? 2d6 plus wisdom modifier. I think wisdom modifier... We got... Oh uh, no, we got 10 wisdom. Screw that. <laughs> Blood tribute status? What? Nah. Nah, this is... Ew. Alright, it's time to Dragon Ballify uh, good old Asterion. Okay, where, where is Dragon Ball Warrior? There we go. Alright. Let's see now. Uh, I think... The Namekian class would actually go really well with Astarion. He's got a bunch of heals. Regenerate HP. Can't be crippled. Resistant to poison. Yes. I may just make Astarion a Namekian. He does have the pointy ears. He's just not green. <laughs> He can detect movement. He's got Ancestral Guide. Well, he is Vampire, so... You know what? I really just think... Either this or Time Lord. Master Key, but this... Shouldn't this be... I think this is gonna be Gale, though. Yeah... I'll go with the Nameless Namekian for a good old Asterion. Just a bunch of self-heals, because why the hell not? He already heals a lot from blood. So, might as well. Asterion is basically Majin Buu class right now. <laughs> Alright, we got... Let's see, what is this? Feral Instinct. Three bonus to initiative, can't be surprised. Damn, that's good though. But I have to skip, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. She is- Oh my god! We got Vegeta! Bruh. We actually got the Gallic Gun. And this is kinda decent. Hold up. It's, it's a 4th turn cooldown. What is this? Force Wave? Damn. Double Sun- Oh my god, Raditz. This is Raditz's move, brother. Bone Breaker. Violent Finisher. Obliterate an enemy with 10 or less HP. Cyberman. No, we're not going the Napa route. Even though that would be funny. <laughs> that would be hella funny. Meteor Combo. Rush and knock an enemy prone after 4 hit dealing 1 to 4 piercing damage, 1 to 6 slash damage, 1 to 8 bludgeoning damage, and 1 force damage. So that is potentially 3 damage. Four, rather. That is really bad. <laughs> that is really bad. It has potential for, for good damage. But at the same time, it has potential for uh, really garbage damage. Especially since it's, uh, it's four types of damage. There could be enemies that are resistant to basically everything in here. Heat Phalanx? Who the fuck has this? Is this Napa's move? I feel like this is Napa's move. The the one where he blows the city, if you know what I mean. 
I kind of feel like I gotta go double Sunday Gallic Gun. What is this? Uppercut? Ooh. Oh, hold the phone. Let's see now. So Galligan is both an action and a bonus action? Is that what I'm seeing here? So when you use this, your your turn's over. It's a plus six force, no die, and a 1d20 radiant. That is weird. The 2d10 double Sunday though is hella, hella nice. <laughs> they really did the Gallic gun hella dirty here because this is... This is so bad. My guy is uh, an obvious Raditz fan. 2d10. 10 to 28. A two round cooldown I believe. And this is two hits too. It's two key beams. Is it? Is that what I'm reading? Also leaves the opponent off balance. Yeah, they really did the, the Gallic Gun dirty. Why do I hate that so much? Because I like the Gallic Gun. But the Double Sunday though, oh my god. <laughs> that is so good. Do I double... S no, I'm not gonna use Cybermen. That said... Let me check. 20 HP. Oh, so they're, they're gonna die in one hit. Um, th th There is potential in making them tank damage. If you know what I mean. At the same time, I kind of want to get the violent finisher. <laughs> but... <sighs> Do I... Because if I have to use this, that means they are within 10 or less HP. Which usually means they die anyway. So I feel like this is bad. It has potential of bypassing a randomly missed attack, if you know what I mean. But at the same time, I feel like this is bad. So I'm just going to take the uppercut. Because it has a stun. It's two turns days. And, or is it stun? No, it's a daze, and then there's a prone, which prone is really strong in this game, by the way. We are basically playing Raditz at this point. I feel like ability improvement is the play. I really feel like that is the play. Let's see, do we got anything else? Uh, no. Raditz intelligence is very low, so I think I just go strength. I'm not sure if I need anything else, because this doesn't really tell me. Oh, my spellcasting ability is dexterity though. Hold up. I think... What if I go like this? Mm. Do I go athlete? Nah. Oh. I could go. I don't know if this is gonna help. Apparently my spellcasting ability is dexterity on Karlak. I just realized I've never seen... I've never actually looked at this. But I believe... This means Karlak uses dexterity to cast her spells. Which is kind of weird to me. Because strength is the primary ability. But it is what it is. You would think they... They'd use Intelligence, Wisdom, or Charisma for spellcasting, but apparently Dexterity, huh? Spell Sniper? This is interesting. But what if I make her dual wield? Ooh. 
Ooh, plus one bonus to armored class. I forgot if Karlak has shield. I think I gave the shield to Will, actually. I did... I do recall wanting to make card like a dual wielder, so let's not go with the, the two decks, I will go with the dual wielder, because dual wielding is really powerful in this game, you get a lot of hits off, and then we got the double Sunday as a bonus action, if we need to get some, some ranged hits in or something, or some force damage if you know what I mean. We got an uppercut, because why not? This makes them prone, makes them waste day, day turns, if you know what I mean. And then we also get an extra AC when we are dual wielding. I do recall having an extra hammer or two somewhere. Alright, a good old, uh, <laughs> a good old William. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about this. It's been a while since I played. Alright, we do have level 4s. Blight is interesting. Plants? I've never seen plant monsters, I don't recall. I can charm monster. I don't know if I want it though. Dimension door is nice. Fire shield is cute. Wall of Fire? Nah. You know what? It's time to Dragon Ballify everybody. It is what it is. We're the Dragon Ball class. There we go. Alright, no, let's not be Namekian. Let's see now. William is kinda evil, but at the same time kinda not evil. He's just in the surface of evil. So he's basically an android. <laughs> okay? I, I hope you understand what I'm getting at. He's basically the minion of Dr. Jero, okay? Or Mithra, whatever her name is in Baldur's Gate. Alright, what is this? Arcane Suppression. You can strip adversary of their spellcasting power in the midst of battle. The fuck? Okay. Oh, hold up. Ice Storm. Ice Spike. Damn. These are good, bro. Roller themes. I, I think I have these on Will. All of Fire. We saw that on William. What is this? Summon Elemental. Nah. Phantasmal Killer. 3D10 Psychic. Essence. What? What is Essence? Nah. He's not into Dragon Ball. What do I have Essence? What is Essence? Just random... Random weird extra thing I've never seen before. Anyway. Time Lord it is. It is time. We put Gale... In his, uh, in his rightful class. Because he is a dimension traveler that is also a time lord now. Okay, so he's basically a Kai at this point. Or a god. <laughs> Not a god of destruction, no. He's basically Zeno at this point. Mm. As for you Dragon Ball Super fans. Yeah, baby. Alright. So, how do I get there? I recall getting a... What's it called? A gem or something. Uh, anyway, uh, if you guys have skipped, welcome back. Uh, we have basically Dragon Ballified everybody. It is what it is. Had to be done. Because the skills we got are level 8. Uh, well, let's just say most of them were kind of garbage. And Gale already has a bunch of spells, so might as well. Gale's a Time Lord now. We click, we go, insert item, where is the gem? I actually forgot what it's called. Insert item. Gith? Egg? Thorn? Uh, that's not it. Gem? Nope. 
Who got it though? Is it on Lazel? Let me check. It is. All right, we got the get shard. Insert. Who would be? Oh, it is you. What? Make haste. We have business to conduct. Business. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, stop me yet. Back to Cremiel though. All right then. Uh, I did change my mouse settings, so my camera may just. Kind of jump all over the place until I get used to it in this game. There is something here. 36 gold. I may need gold to respec, so... Yeah. I will probably respec Kremiel at some point. Before I move on... Uh, Karlak is now a dual wielder, so we actually need to find a secondary weapon. Let's we'll see now. Uh, prone. Oh my god. We are about to prone everybody. Uh, war pick? No, I think we just... It's either gonna be Fate Breaker, but Fate Breaker's got nothing. Even though it's decent damage, it's got nothing. The, the knock nearby foes prone after killing hostile target or crit hits is huge. Yeah, baby. We got a bone and a hammer. <laughs> it is what it is. Does it actually give me one extra AC? Yes, it does. Good pick, good pick. Very good pick. Also, say hello to Raditz, by the way. Yes. Looking ahead. This place is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. Uh, I do need to check something before I move on. I did make... I hope. No. A Sarion on, uh... Shut up, Lazel. It's never been that simple before. I don't know why it would be now. It is so weird to hear Kremiel talk. <laughs> I actually wish I could hear Kremiel talk more often. Okay. Uh, my guy Astadion over here is now officially an android. Where are his android thingies though? I'm trying to figure that one out. Hold up. We got Quick Punch, we got Focus Listening... So this is basically... Yeah, okay. This is basically cancelling... Uh... Invisible people, if you know what I mean. Okay, there's nothing here. It does say concentration... Oh, we got the... Oh no, he's Namekian, I forgot. We made him a Namekian, actually. So he self-heals all the damn time. Who's the android? Uh, Was it Will? There we go, Will's the android. Alright. We made him an android because, well, he's basically Mithra's minion, so Dr. Jero, you know what I mean? Create a drone that can scout and detect invisible enemies. You know what? I think it's time. Not Brace, no. Recreate drone. Right here. Alright. How many turns does it say? Wait, it's got no turns? This is an eye. This drone is a literal eye. Okay. Alright, let me scout. It detects invisible enemies, so I can do anything I want with this one. This is very cool. Double iron doors. Okay, I'm not gonna go over there just yet. First, I'm gonna scout that area. This thing from Will is potentially really strong. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, th these Dragon Ball classes may just be a little bit busted. Okay, we got a wooden chest here. I can't teleport everybody to this, by the way. I just realized this is potentially extremely broken. I've got a long road ahead. Okay. Yeah, alright. Y'all stay here. Will is about to do some actual proper nonsense. Hold the phone. The fact that this has literally no um, durability. It has... No, actually it has 88 turns remaining. So it's 100 turns, I believe? I may have just not seen it. Or 90 turns. 
All right. We can't teleport anybody anywhere right now because of this. This is busted. Okay, he's a level 6. Is this invisible? <laughs> is this invisible? It's not invisible. Wait. No, this is not invisible. So they see it. They just don't react to the eye. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. We got a level 6 here. That is legendary resistance. The fuck does that even mean? Plus 10 bonus to its next saving throw. You can... Oh my god. Brother. What? <laughs> 17, 14, 15, 18, 16, 12, and the 17 AC. Also ready to parry. Jesus! This guy is, is hella stacked on HP as well. Okay. I may have to fight him, that's why I'm scouting like that. And then we got Orden... Jerezat? Sure. Extra attack, level 3 spell controls... Magic boost. Potent cantrip. Uh, okay. And then we got Ordent Kut. Okay. Extra attacks. Level 3 spells. Magic boosts. Jesus. Alright. <laughs> well, if we fight, might as well be here. I gotta be in front though. There we go. All right, let me talk. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing geek slave vessel. Chirai, Vlakith's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased. I love how nobody questions. I heard everybody that is full of blood. Blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. Ah, they believe it's goblin blood. Interesting. I suspect you <laughs> plucked something precious from the Geek ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Well. Give it to me. It, it's time to Don't do kill it. a Gith. <laughs> the weapon is how I protect you. Do Figures. It. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. Shut the fuck up. What do you mean? Oh my god. No, I'm sorry. But Lazelle is being an asshole to the end. What do you mean, do not disobey? That's literally the only protection we have from the Absolute. Why would I give that away? <laughs> Lay still kind of dumb in the head, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Um. How do you know so much about me? Some of your species say knowledge is power. They are wrong. Knowledge is everything. We took an interest in you when you became involved with this absolute cult. A pestilence of infected slaves. The first symptom of the grand design in action. But you are lucky. That weapon you carry is the solution. I have heard it from Queen Vlakith herself. Okay. Hand it over. And you stop asking for the only shield I got against the Absolute, though. What is the grand design? The grand design is what all Geek seek. The fuck is a the Geek? Restoration of the Illithid Empire, which spans the entirety of the multiverse. Bro, I need a, I need a Git dictionary at this point. Elder brains sought to bring back their dominion. Every plot they hatched, we stopped. But now they are close to succeeding. Never before could they pause Ceramorphosis. Never before could they let the infection spread undetected. You saw the thralls gathered on the Geek ship. Imagine that everywhere. All right, so they don't know. Needs choice. All would cease to be. Everything rendered unto the Geek. So, the weapon. Oh, he's getting impatient. <laughs> he did say please, though. <laughs> don't give it to him. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you the artifact that is, well, both in Shadowheart's hands and in my party's hand, and it's protecting me. Uh, I will have to pause a little bit. Give me a sec. I'm sorry.
I'm sorry, I had to go deal with family stuff, unfortunately. <sighs> Some dumbass actually trying to throw my kids' toys away. Do Fucking not hell. Try me. I gotta move, bro. Hand over the artifact or I actually die gotta by move. My hand. This is pissing me off. This, this, this is not a family, I'm sorry. Um. Uh, let's see now. <clears throat> yeah. Lazel, follow my lead. I will choose the right path. She actually likes this. Let's fucking go. She woke the fuck up. Thank you for finally being reasonable, Lazel. We are keeping the artifact. Your illustrious adventure ends here. Head All right, you, you're about to get destroyed. Even though he's level six. Pretty sure I'm eight at this point. No, I need to check though. No, yeah, we eight. <laughs> we are a full party of level eight. We are seven people. <laughs> you are getting destroyed, fella. All right, let's see now. I will cast Oti Luke on Gale. Got to make sure I actually click Gale. Okay, I got to actually lower my volume in the headset because this is hella loud for me. I may just click Echoing Recurse at this point. Do I want to find out right now? <laughs> you know what they say? Fuck around and find out. Let's go. Who? <laughs> Chronomancer Ali. Oh my god, that's a level 12. Motherfucker, what? Purging evil? <laughs> what is this? What is, what is this? Didn't think this would happen. I knew I should have fucking waited until level max. <laughs> what is this though? Oh, the past molds the present and the future unfolds in this moment. Um, maddened legendary hero, Chronomancer Alia. Oh my god, what have I done to myself? Who is you? Motherfucker, who is you? Who is Chronomancer Alia? <laughs> you know, this is fitting, because I just made him a Time Lord. <laughs> uh, oh shit. Madness culmination. Okay. Well, it's, it's time. I, I didn't think I would have to deal with this nonsense, if I click that. That's descent. The breath of death crashes upon you like a tsunami. It's bone-chilling, cold, silently engulfing your body. You know this world teeters on the brink of peril. Use a special action to purging evil. Ah. Yeah, I don't think I should be fucking around with this one. 26 in? In before I get one shot on my entire fucking team. Purge. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Um. Uh um. What? Level 16? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Hold up. What the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, a thousand HP? Huh? I have never seen anything that is past level 6. And now I'm seeing level 16. Oh my god. He's got Legendary Resistance Reaper Realm? Nah, I'm dead. <laughs> I am straight up dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I am straight up dead. There's, there's no way I'm getting out of this one. There's just no way I'm getting out of this one. Absolutely no fucking way. 
Oh my god. What have I done? I, I, I don't even know what to do. That's the problem. <laughs> if I could teleport everybody out. That would be the best course of action. If I could invisibility everybody. And teleport everybody out of combat. And then just get the fuck out of here. But I don't think I can. That's the problem. I actually don't think I can. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. <laughs> ah, shit. Fuck, man. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you mean level 16? Cursed Plane Arbiter. What do you mean, bro? I'm sorry, I am actually stunned by what has transpired. I will... <laughs> I got ulti Lukes. I can't do anything. Oh my god. Alright. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> sure. Oh my god, bro. Well, a hunker down. No, this is gonna break ulti Lukes. We can't do that. <laughs> Welp. <laughs> it's so big I can't target anything. Oh my god. It is actually so big that I can't target the git. I, I literally cannot target the git. Oh my god. Dear Devil Proximity. Reaper Realm. They both have Reaper Realm. So if I kill Chronomancer Alia. Maybe? Maybe we get away? Question mark? Let me try. Let me try. You never know. This may actually prove to not to be as hard as I may have thought. I may have to just... Okay, what is the best course of action here? Oh my god. I didn't think I would have to do this. I don't think I can frighten this fella. Let me see. Oh my god. Yeah, nope. That's high constitution and charisma. That is very high constitution and charisma. I don't have the charisma to... The fear this fella. Ay ay ay. Well, let's see now. The aura of terror is pissing me off though. I will have the hardcore try on this one. So we're going all out. What do you mean can't reach this? The fuck you mean? Hello? I can't move? Motherfucker, what? Why can't I hit you? What do you mean? Am I unable to move because of the Annihilation Phantom? Uh, that is a, a new type of BS, by the way. I don't think I can move because of that. I actually do not think I can move. Like, whatsoever. Let's see, this is concentration. I may just have to enter right form somehow. How the fuck do I do this? <laughs> Let's see, if Kremiel gets out alive, or Gale, I may just be able to revive everybody. I may just be able to revive everybody. I don't run a reset. I actually do not want to reset. Can I teleport back the way I came? Is the question. Let's see. I think I came through this door. Yeah. Alright, can I shadow meld um, somewhere outside? Oh my god, then there's this light. Which is in the way. I need Gale. How fools these mortals be. Yeah, I need Gale to just get the fuck out of here. But I got Autilux. I have Autilux running. This is pain. I, I really didn't think this is the most unexpected turn of events ever. Fucking hell. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Ay, ay, ay. 
still can't believe this actually happened. I could become invisible. <laughs> that said, Kremiel is quite literally the only proper tank I have other than a Starion. And Karlak is probably gonna be one shot by these because she's under half HP. Uh, can I. It provokes attack of opportunity? No! <laughs> what do you mean? I can't kill this! And I can't target the fucking. Why can't I target the Chronomancer? Wait, I can attack actually. Not actually. Why? I can't move whatsoever. It's a five per motherfucker. What? It's a five per. I can't do anything. Why? Okay, I need to figure out who the fuck actually has the proper action that can be used. Ma maybe Shadowheart. Why is Shadowheart unable to do anything? Hello. Is it because it's not her turn? Question mark. Allow me to demonstrate. It's another fight. Maybe. <laughs> Shadowheart's turn is way the fuck out there, though. Oh my god. All right. I think I have to use the inviting dance to make everybody attack me. I wish I could enter raid form, though. Because this would probably be the best use of right form right now. But it is what it is. Well. This is the only thing I can think of. Right now. I'm gonna have to make everybody hit Kremio. And then, let's see now. We got Soul Breaker. Do I have anything AoE on Lazelle? Because she's basically the only one. Ancient Grudges. No, we don't care about this right now. Fuck! I don't have the energy for Destructo Disc. That might have been actually good. I can use the Senzu. I do have a bunch of healing. Maybe If I don't get one shot, I may have a chance. I will dash as this motherfucker. No, actually I need to dash as somebody else. Let's see now. 28% on the Annihilation Phantom. If I could maybe Tash as this fella, so he goes prone for 10 turns and doesn't do anything, I may actually get out, but I don't think that's possible. Let's see now. Where's the level 6? There we go. Let me try. Damn it, man, that is painful. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to send Zoo. Alright, send Zoo Bean it is. But can I give a send Zoo Bean to anybody? Yes, I can. That is interesting. Actually. So. Let's see. I can use one send Zoo Bean per short rest. Yes. Okay, of course. Um. I think I have to send you Shadowheart. I actually think I have to send you Shadowheart. Is that even possible? Motherfucker, what? I'm sorry, where's the send you been? Heal all HP. Nothing was healed. What? No, I am ultra confused right now. Oh my god, bro. Bro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I did not think of that. Alright, uh, Gale? It, it, it's time. Uh, I think... No, this is a Stadion, but I think... Is there any way to get the fuck out of here? Oh my god. Bro, I actually wish this sanguinary projection would heal everybody. 
if this could heal everybody, then I would maybe still have a chance. Unfortunately, I am within the Reaper realm, and I'm taking way too much fucking damage per turn. <laughs> I don't know what this BS thing is, but this is actually way too OP. Holy shit. Yeah, nah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> How, how do you deal with this? <laughs> uh, I think this is meant for mods that go up to level 20, and I don't have those. I don't have mods that go up to level 20. So this is gonna be an actual pain in the ass to deal with. I don't know how to deal with this. Maybe radiant damage, because it's undead, but I don't think I have that much radiant damage, and my only radiant source of damage is dead. Wait, black hole? Uh <laughs> 7 to 34! Mm, oh my god. Yeah, no, this is. This is really bad. Of wits. Go for the throat. Well, I can't do anything. I can't use reaction! I, I can't move because of black hole. Oh my god! That is silly. Actually, silly, bro. No, I'm, I'm just straight up there. I don't think I can do anything. 9%! <laughs> if I could kill this motherfucker, the, the Chronomancer, maybe the Annihilation Phantom would go away, but I don't. I, I can't hit it! I can't reach destination. I can't move at all! For some fucking reason. I don't know what the reason is, though. That's the problem. Bonus action, action. If I use bonus action, can I still use action after? Everybody is dead anyway, so I will try. Damn, that shit's big, bro. No, I can't. I can't use anything. Uh, Pain. And the Starion die. <laughs> My whole part is that, except Cremiel and Gale somehow. Is it because they're undead? It might just be. It might just be because they're undead. They're not taking damage at all. Okay, they took damage from that though. Damn it, man. Okay, what's happening? Everybody is targeting my party, which is literally stacked on top of each other. There's something there. There's a cloud of daggers. Oh my god. I'm, I'm taking damage from everything at the same time? <laughs> Uh, this episode, everything is going wrong. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Gale, um, can you, like, get the fuck out of here? Because you're the only one alive. Uh, <laughs> I'm being blocked by Ori Luke. <sighs> can I go in, Viz? <laughs> if Gale can get, o get away, it requires long rest. Oh my god. Okay, I have Otilux remaining for two more turns. If I can use the Annihilation Phantom to kill everybody... Listen, listen. Gale still may have a chance to live, okay? I'm, I'm not giving up without a fight. I can't move because of Otilux, and there's a fucking black hole somewhere. My move speed is halved. Uh, I should have lied, actually, but it's fine. Yeah, everybody is dead. <laughs> Kremiel just healed and died. Asterion just healed and died. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, Kremiel is still in a black hole, by the way. Or no, what is this? <laughs> okay. There's some something... You have 25% life still with your elated powers. I don't have that. Anyway. Yeah, I can't move at all. Wait, I can move actually. Oh no, he fell! <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, well. 
Okay, you know what? I think I end this episode right here because this is something that has been extremely unexpected. And I don't want anything else to occur in this video specifically. So... Yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed the... <laughs> what the fuck even was that? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna drop the next video in a bit too, so wait on that.